Hello everyone, I'm thrilled to have you here with me today. In this video, we're going to install and configuring Proxmox Hypervisor. But before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of our content. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for your ongoing support. At first, I'm going to download Proxmox installation ISO image. Open Proxmox official website. Click on download. I have already downloaded ISO file, so I cancel this. Now I'm going to create a bootable flash disk from this ISO file. To create a bootable flash disk, I use Rufus. Open Rufus latest version. Device is your USB flash disk. Select your hypervisor ISO file. OK, press start to create a bootable flash disk. I have created bootable flash disk and insert in server USB slot. I will install Proxmox on Super Micro server. Open server web console. Power on server. I will boot this server from USB disk. In Supermicro servers, you can change boot order by using F11. Wait for some second.
Press F11. I have two USB discs on this server. One of that is Proxmox installation, and another I will use as Proxmox target location. Select installation USB disk and press enter. Select install Proxmox VE graphical and press enter. Wait for some second. Because my screen resolution is low, I cannot see the next in the screen too. I have to scroll down my console screen. Click on I agree. Select installation target disk. These two disk is my server disks. End of this list is shows my USB disk, so I select this. Next. Select your country. Next. Write Proxmox root password and email address. Next, write server management connection information. These are network interfaces on your server. IP address and subnet mask. Next, these are summary of installation. Let me check host name again. Next, click on install.
Installation finished. Server is rebooting. As you can see, Proxmox loaded and we can manage from web console. Web console address is HTTPS, just 10.1.1, 100 Okay, I open Proxmox web console. Write root as username and write passwords that you set during installation. OK, my Proxmox is ready for use. I will create a series of Proxmox tutorials. You can find these videos in my channel. And if you subscribe to my channel every time I create a video, you will notified. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it informative. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts or any questions you might have. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance your friends and family will too, so don't hesitate to share it with them. Sharing is caring.